Swami Vishnudevananda at the New York Ranch in the late 1980s. Who are you? His topic, Nguyen Tatsan. I am president of the International Shivananda Yoga Vedanta Centers. And who are you? More. I am minus millionaire. Who are you? I am <laughs> guru. Who are you? I am disciple. Who are you? I am a poor man. Who are you? I am a great Hitler. Who are you? I am president. Who are you? I am a husband. Who are you? I am a father. Who are you? I am a mother. Who are you? I am a son. I am a child. I am a grandchild. You go and add zeros. You stop with that I am. And who is I am now? I want to know. Who is that I? The nature of I? I am Sat, Chit, and Ananda. I am Sat, existence, Chit, consciousness or knowledge, Ananda, please. That is, you are. Who am I? How to find this I? I am. How to find it? How to find it? Who are you? Harry, how are you going to find who are you? Who you are? Silence. Silence. How do you find silence? How do you find silence? It's like, I'll take the back, I'll take a swim in the ocean only when all the water is taken out. <laughs> <laughs> How to find silence, Shida? By taking photographs? <laughs> <laughs> give me illumination, you know. <laughs> Instant illumination. How much you going to cause this illumination? <laughs> How to find silence? Shambhu, how to find silence? By playing sitar? That silence also, isn't it? You play silence, you play music only when you know? When you know? Another word. Who is that? David. Yeah. David Swamiji. David. How to find silence? How to play music? When? You forget yourself. <laughs> <laughs> the best music comes only when you forget, isn't it? Not? You don't know you are even playing. You just tune to that sound. Ah. But when you tune to silence, then music comes out. <laughs> and then everyone tunes. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> because they are tuning to silence, but not the sound. And how to tune to the silence when you forget yourself. Forget what? Forget not the name and form. Forget Swami Shangara Maharaj. Forget what? The ego. <laughs> ego, I am. You said I am. But when you said I am means I am this body. <laughs> I am name and form. I am Mr. So and so, Mrs. So and so, Miss So and so. I am Patnavati. I am Shambhu. I am Krishna. I am David. I am Hari. I am disciple. I am a guru. Ah, oh, I am a guru. Don't forget that. I am your guru. I want to be your guru. <laughs> like the the presidents, the before they elected. They go and they shake hands in the supermarket <laughs> and, and tell everybody, I want to be your president. <laughs> I want to be your president. <laughs> what is it? I need this. He's telling me, I want to be your guru. <laughs> I want to be your guru. <laughs> I am your guru. I want to be your guru. <laughs> It's like I want to be a president. <laughs> when 
When I say I am a guru, I do not forget myself. Only you can be a guru when you can forget. Nilaganda, forget who you are. Who are you comes only when you forget who you are. <laughs> it's contrary to it, isn't it? Who you are, you will only know when you forget who am I. <laughs> Silver Street was sleeping. I asked, are you sleeping? Yes, Swami, I am sleeping. <laughs> then we know that he, she is not sleeping. And Silver Street, are you sleeping? Then we know he is sleeping. <laughs> so if he say, I am a guru, you have not forgotten I, the ego. A person is a guru, he has forgotten himself, like Kunta Ishwanda. He never said, I am a guru. That means he doesn't know who is a guru. Guru is the same Atman, our self, our God, seated in all of us. The super ego, the big ego, the cosmic ego. The little ego, pity ego, Swami Vishnu Devananda is a pity ego, small ego. That creates all the problems. I want my petal seed. So, hey, not a very good throne. How come I will put a big throne to me? God said, hey, put a big throne to me. Speak in my back. <laughs> but anyhow, thank you not putting a big throne. <laughs> hey, where's my, my new type of weapon? Hit you everybody. <laughs> Where's my peacock feather? I want to hit you everybody to be a big, big guru. <laughs> what stupid idea it is that people just go thinking that oh by taking a peacock feather guru is going to give you all salvation they have not forgotten who they are they are not a guru a guru is a person zero guru is zero you know zero what is the value of a zero one, one value of a zero. Pardon? <laughs> the value of a zero is zero. <laughs> <laughs> you take one zero and uh, add ten zeros, how much is that? Zero. You multiply two hundred zeros zero. and divide two, two million zeros. Minus it, plus it, multiply it, divide it, and you take your fraction of a zero from a zero. How much is that? Zero. Hey, you become good mathematician. <laughs> <laughs> I know you are great mathematicians. <laughs> zero remains always zero. It doesn't matter how many zeros you add, how many multiplies. How many do I, but still zero is zero. But what makes zero valuable? What makes zero valuable? Pardon? Ah, a number makes zero valuable. <laughs> one. You add now one zero, you got ten. <laughs> And you add one more, hundred. You make three more, thousand. And uh, six more, or uh, one million, or twelve more, one billion, and twenty-four more, trillion, and uh, another forty-eight more, trillion, trillion. But suddenly you wipe out the number one, what's left? All zeros, trillion zero has no value. But what makes you valuable is not the little eye, the big eye. I am. Not zeros, 
When they say I am means not add in zeros, I am sorry, Vishnu is one zero. I am a great president, another zero. I am a guru, third zero. That's not different. What the difference between a zero, I am a guru, I am a Hitler. What the difference? What difference? Huh? Pardon? No difference, that's right. I am a guru, is a zero. I am Hitler, also another zero. It's no, there's no difference. Only when you can forget that zero, I am a guru, that guru must be removed. Or I am a Hitler, I am Mr. So and so, Mr. So and so must be removed. Then what is left is I am. And no one says that I am. In the deep sleep, you've forgotten your name, form. You don't know who you are. So, the silence is <coughs> that state where you forget zeros and only remember. Or remember who? Not remember. Realize. Not realize. Aware. Not aware. Think. Not think. No. Not no. Experience, oh, not experience. You can't describe this experience. They experience this experience. Nanda Pretan, the big Pretan, no Vera Pretan, the Pretan, the Pretan, the Sistema, you hire my Gravi, my Lakshma, my Chintim. You know what it means? Nanda Pretan. It's not the experience, what's going on within it. Like, I love you many. <laughs> that inner experience. No, that's not. I'm a millionaire. That inner experience. Though you don't know how what millionaire is, many people don't, can't even count million. But that experience, I'm a millionaire. That's inner experience. Not the prajyam, not the prajyam, not the experience outside. Oh, all this yoga forms, yoga rise is mine. Outside of it, no, not outside of it. That's my husband, that's my wife. No prajan, no bheda prajan. Neither inside is been or outside experience. <laughs> Not in between. <laughs> no bheda prajan, no prajan, adhishtam, ishtam. You cannot see, agrahim, you cannot remember, you cannot collect, recollect, agrahim, achintim, you cannot just think of it, imagine of it. That's in the Agrahim Alachanam is no Lachanam means no form, no way you can identify with it. Alachanam. Agrahim, Ajintim, Alachanam. They've been talking repeating like this about this chanting, this silence, this I am. It's not this. Whatever you think is not that. Whatever you think is not that. Whatever you see is not that. What only you manage is not that, it's not experience itself, outside, not in between, not heaven, not hell. So they explain this shanti, this satralog, this peace, this past, peace, past, past all understanding, this I am experience, in negation, not in positive terms. The moment you know, you don't know. That's what Egilbert says. Those who says, those who knows, knows not. Those who knows not, knows it. Silvestin knows God. You know God? You don't know. That means you know it. <laughs> means God is God is not something you can know like um, I know this, make, I know this book, an object you can know. But how can you know God? God is not an object. God is not an object, Parmavati. I thought you both look so <laughs> <laughs> I and Gayatri, okay, both are the same, all of them. <laughs> 
God is not object like the mic or the form or the house or a wife or a then God is what? I am is what? God and I am one and the same. What is God? I am means? What is I am? Means? It's not an object. <laughs> I am means? I am means it is subject. <coughs> See, very simple. I am means it is subject, not object. I cannot be object, can I? I be. The subject and the object, is it not? I am the subject and everything is everything is object. Very simple. I am. So, if I say I am Swami Vishnu, Swami Vishnu is subject or object? Oh, see, that's name. So, Vishnu cannot be sub. I am. A millionaire cannot be. I am Hitler. Hitler is subject or object? I am a guru. Guru is subject or object? But what is behind the guru? Always one thing comes. What that? Subject. First you emphasize subject. I am. And then you add zeros. I am a guru. I am Hitler. I am Mussolini. I am a millionaire. I am Sylvester. I am a wife. I am beautiful. I am handsome. I am intelligent. I am intelligent. I am Einstein. You add the zeros only after emphasizing the one I. The I makes all the zero valuable. 